I'm going to do over under based on Luca's points here, guys. So do we think Luca or do you think Joel will average more than what they have Luca listed at, which is 31.4 points per game? And do you think MB will win the scoring title for the third straight season? So the over under number here is 31.4. First uh, three time in a row scoring champ since Harden, by the way. Wow. That's ironic. Yeah, I know. He, he will be if he if he wanted he will be. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um No, I do not think he'll win it. But I do think I think he hits 30 points, but I don't think he wins a scoring title. Hmm. I've gone back and forth in so many times. I, I just I think it's I think it's some teams out there that need guys to score a lot more to win. A part of me thinks he's gonna score a ton, like he getting that number, because we kind of have to to make up for you know Harden's missed twenty points a game. But at the same time, it's going to come a lot harder. Harden made his life a lot easier, and he said that himself. Um, and his efficiency was through the roof last year, MB. It's because, you know, Harden, you know, he, he does things, right? I'm going to say – I'm going to say no to both. I'm going to say he does not – Get over 31.4. He's under that, and he does not get the scoring title. I think he still scores. Yeah, I think he's in the 30, like 30-point-something 30 range. I just think there's going to be someone else who just – the volume just crazy. Like, he just will do so much. Because, you know, with less Harden and, or no Harden, we're going to get more Maxi. We're going to get Harris. All those are not going to just go to Embiid, so that's going to be distributed a little bit. Um, they, uh, so, um, last year, so Emmy's talked about this uh, with his Nick nurse system. He's gonna be able to do a lot of things, more of a playmaker, you, uh, having more assists probably, especially with no hard. We're going to need the, the assist need to come from other guys. Embiid's uh, assist last year was 4.2. His career is 3.4 average assists per game. Do you all think he'll have more than 4.2 assists per game this year? Yes. He'll have more assists. Yeah. Definitely more than his career average. Um, yeah, he'll be in the. the ball, I think the ball, will, the ball will be in his hands more. Um, and I think you have the ball more on the perimeter. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I believe that that's what will happen. I believe that he'll he'll be more of a take more of a playmaking ability style, right? But I think that happens. I don't think it'll be that much more. I'm not gonna not, not gonna average a triple double like Jokic or anything, but um I can see him going up two I can see him going up two to three assists. You think so? That. Really? Yeah, I can see wow. two to three. Yeah. I was gonna say like five, like one more than I like can three. see I don't I don't I wouldn't necessarily put money on it, but I can see it wouldn't surprise me if he went up two to three. Damn. But I also don't Everyone else think he'll score. score. But I think his numbers, if his points going down, I think the assists are going up. You know, I would take one less point a game averaging for two more assists a game. That's for sure. Yeah. That's a good trade off. Um, what, what about rebounding? I'm, I, I didn't notice this, but last year was his second lowest rebounds per game, total of 10.2. Um, do you guys think that goes up? I know we're talking about may assists going up, points maybe going down. Do you think rebounds goes up? I mean, I, I haven't really heard an emphasis on that this this. Sorry, time. Marcus, it still says pause for me. No, it's it's on. Okay, it's recording. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, the, that the rebounds are interesting because it's like that's the number that we all would want and, and think should be higher. But I don't know how it's going to be higher if we're talking about him being more of a perimeter player. Yep. I, I just – where I feel it should be higher, I don't know how you get it higher. I just don't know. Maybe 
maybe an increase in minutes. Like, I don't know. Mm. I think that number should be higher. Um, that one's going to be interesting. If I, I, I'll say higher, but not by much. Yeah, I'll go higher than that. Yeah, yeah I'm just surprised that – so it, first year, 7.8 rebounds, 11, 13.6, 11.6, 10.6, 11.7, and then 10.2. Just interesting. I think he goes higher. I, I just don't think he makes a big jump. Yeah. Well, when he's out in the perimeter dishing those balls out to shooter, he's going to have to crash, crash, crash to get down get down to that ball again. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so the, the next uh, guy, we've got Tyrese Maxey's points per game. Obviously not listed, but he has the same odds as Cade Cunningham uh, to be the scoring champ. And Cade Cunningham's points per game number is set at 21.8 points per game. My question to you guys, will Tyrese Maxey average more than 21.8 points per game? Yes. Yeah, they're really smart for not listing that because I would I would pounce on that. He, he would he, – he's going to average, I think, I think like – Anywhere from like two to four more points in that, I think. I think he's in the 23 to 25 range this year. Yeah, I would go to 23 as a minimum. Yeah. But I, I, 25, that extra two points is just, when you hit, when you hit 25, that's like you're getting into another level. <laughs> well, you want, you know, wants that. No, I'm, so. no, I'm, no. I mean, all you got to do is do better than last year. <laughs> to, to that's get true. That. That's true. <laughs> he already That's earned true. that. Mm. <laughs> even even like it's one point, point, like two assists. Boom. You just you just don't want to get worse. Yeah. Even staying the same is good. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't want to get worse. Like if you're around the same area, that's who you are. You've shown yeah. who you are. Mm-hmm. Man, the scoring's got to come from somewhere to make up for Harden's 21 points a game. And also, we think Embiid's going to drop a little bit too. Um, yeah, so, go up too. yeah, that was my ne- that was my next question. So, Maxi averaged three and a half assists per game last year, up or uh, over or under three and a half, mm-hmm. up, over. I would say higher. Yeah, so significantly a significant rise, or what do you guys think? I think he's yeah, around I five. I mean, I, I could think, I could do I could see five or six. Five or six. Yeah. I mean, that's not a high assist amount, but if you're jumping, if you're doubling, especially if he's a primary ball handler, yeah, six is he gets six. Yeah, yeah it's in the fives. It's good. I'll say six. That'd be, that'd be an amazing season. If that's he stays a primary ball handler, he has to stay the primary ball handler, though. Okay. For that to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great season. Yeah. <laughs> Um, kind of so season now, after a lot of money after that. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 24, 24 and five. Good to go, yeah. man. Yeah. You're, you're all over that. You're, you're already counting the pennies for why he's a next deal, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're happy, Tasia. That's, that's, that's the goal, isn't it? I think that is the goal. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah. the next one is uh, we're going to your guy again, Tasia, uh, Tobias Harris. Um, so obviously they don't have his points per game listed. So we're going to take the average of what he finished with from the 2021 season. That's the Ben Simmons holdout season, uh, which is probably the best comparison we have to what the season is going to be. Yeah. Um, and he averaged 17.2 points per game that year. Will it be over or under 17.2 points per game? That's a really good number. Under. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Contract year? Under? Yeah. I think he's so close to that. Like they're going to do reason, an over. And the reason why I say the reason why I say um under is I still don't think they're going to be able to use him to his strengths. Mm. Um I don't think they're going to give him any isos and get put the ball in his hand. I don't think they're going to play him like that. Um I can see other guys, Melton and maybe I'm having to block um, 
the new kid from Charlotte, Ubre, uh, Ubre, Ubre, um, scoring a little more, um, not necessarily in place of Tobias, but kind of balancing it out. I mean, seventeen is a lot, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, no, it's no joke. Thanks, man. The off-ball I, stuff should help him a little more. They should put him in better situations to get easier buckets, I think, too, though. That might but offset how, though? Like, 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 the off, like how? How, how would he get easier buckets being off the ball with Tobias – I mean, with um, Maxie and Joel? Like, what, what would make it easier for him other than getting catch-and-shoot corner threes? Like, what, what else is he going to get off the ball? Anything that's less stagnant than having him just sit in one spot waiting for an ISO shot, you know. I understand it, but what 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 action are you going to get? Like nobody's going to let Tobias Harris just go back door and get wide open layups. Like what are you going to get? Even like one a game would be a plus. He was hardly moving without the ball before. I'm just saying, like like is he going to crash the boards harder? Like he going to get out in transition and finish? Like what, what what's different going to happen in that offense for him? Because most of these type of people talking about the difference in the offense is really the difference for the top players. The third and fourth and fifth option, there's no offense is going to all of a sudden create five or six points for them. But when when his role grow though naturally, Eric just being going from the fourth option to the third option just automatically is getting more shots without without Harden being there. Well, it's different because James was the third option with the ball in his hands. Yep. Tobias is the third option without the ball in his hands. Yep. That does matter. That's true. Yeah, it's a good point. Plus, if we're looking for, like, usage, just because Harden's not there doesn't mean it's just like a free-for-all to whoever can grab the ball. We already said MB's going to be playmaking more, which means he's going to have the ball in his hands just the same. And we already said Max is going to be playing more on ball. So there, that's like, so there you go. Two guys just ate up a lot of that extra ball time. So, so, so that's what I'm saying. Like, he, I will hope, I mean, I'll be, I'll be happy for Tobias if he can give us 20 points a game. I don't know how it can happen. Yeah. I, I don't know what system Nurse had. I really don't know. I don't know his system. I'm not acting like I do know his system. I, I just, I'm just saying from a, God has been around the NBA game for whatever years, 30 years, 20, whatever it is, 25 years. I don't know how they can involve him in a manner of him to be able to put up those numbers without taking from those other guys. I just don't know how you can involve it because he's not a quick hit guy. He's not a Clay Thompson where you can the quick hitters. Um, and it's hard for Clay to, Give you twenty a night, twenty plus a night. Yeah. Now you know what I'm saying because of the, because of his touches are he gets a lot of shots, but his touches are limited. Mm -hmm. So I don't yeah. know if with Tobias not being that number two guy where you know he's going to get X amount of touches a game, like we really don't know where he's going to get his shots from. I could see Tobias giving getting thirty one day and ten the next. We're gonna lose that ten point game. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not saying that. Like that's <laughs> who, he, who he is. I'm saying. I'm not saying that's who he is. I'm just saying from game to game. I don't know how they. And like I said, maybe they can come up with a different system than what I'm thinking of. But I don't know how they can give him the consistency of touches in a game to get twenty points a game. Unless he's just coming out shooting, you know, MJ LeBron, not like he's like them, but I'm just saying he's shooting their percentages from the field. He's coming out shooting 50 plus from the field, 30, 38 plus from three, 50 from two. I mean, like, that's probably the only way he can do it. His percentages jump up. He was 50, 40, 90 for a little while last season, too. Yeah, so I'm saying his percentages jump up. Um, and what was his numbers during that time? <laughs> last year was still a, wasn't, still wasn't was, 20. That's my point. It's, it's because of the limited shots. 
so so at, at the end of the day, James is either going to come back or that position is going to be addressed with someone else. Yeah. And if we're talking about still winning the championship, that someone else is going to have shots. I'm going over, but just like, like I would not bet on it. I'd go like barely over. I think he'll average like seventeen point like seven. I think he'll just be barely over that. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, the last time Tobias had thirty points was in the bubble, um, and I believe that was the game where TJ Warren went off. Wait, thirty yeah. points in the game? That's the last time he had thirty points in a game. Yeah. Really? Yeah. August August first, twenty twenty. That was the game. TJ Warren had fifty three points because he averaged nineteen two years that. Before, no, the year before that, yeah, yeah, it must have been that year then. The year before the Simmons year, he averaged 19, I think, right? Yes. God, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm looking at him, he has 32 30 point games in his career. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them are in Philly. Hmm. Wow. 